Welcome back to building a full stack TypeScript app from scratch. This is an InRhythmU Zoom Lightning talk. In the previous video, we built a backend APIs to serve up our data. In this video, we're going to build the front end application using Create React App, React Components, and TypeScript. Let's recall our user story. As a recruiter, they need to be able to enter, change, and remove positions and candidates in the system. The acceptance criteria are positions can be added, changed, and removed, and candidates can be added, changed, and removed. Before we get started building, we need to make sure that we have Node installed, which we should from the previous video, and then set up the Create React app by issuing an MPX command, Create React app, give it a name, and be sure to pass in the TypeScript object option. Let me show you that now. Create React app has completed. Now on the desktop, there is the recruiting service from the previous video, as well as the recruiting user interface that we just created. Now let's start our server inside a terminal in VS Code and start our client. Both our client and server are now running. Let's create a config file to enable our client to speak to our server using this variable API root. That has been accomplished. Now it's time to create some entities on the client to match the entities we created last video on the server. In this case, we're going to use TypeScript interfaces. Here's a candidate with an ID string for the UUID, first name, last name, and, and the deleted Boolean flag. And here is a position, also an interface, ID, title, level, and deleted Boolean flag. We'll implement them now. Both the candidate and position entities have been implemented. Now it's time to create React components for candidates and positions. We we'll use React package as well as use state and effect from hooks. We'll import a material table. We use the config file we previously created as well as the entities. We'll have a function to set up and hold, uh, to accept and hold on to some state, and then we'll create in the new function component style a candidates component that keeps track of paging as well as setting an array of candidates. Using the effect to fetch, we'll call to our backend API candidates and that get method we created on the server, passing in headers for content type, application JSON with the UTF-8 character set, as well as accepting the response in application slash JSON. Then we'll handle the response JSON and call set candidates to pass the response data candidates values into it, catching and logging any errors. Lastly, We'll return the material table with the columns, first name, and last name using that array of candidates. Both the candidates and positions functional components have been added. Next up, we're going to add these components to a tab within the app so you can see it in action. To implement tabs, we'll use the material UI, core styles, app bar, tabs, tab, typography and box, as well as set up tab panel props, a function for tab panel that accepts those props, that returns typography, as well as other styling settings, and a function to accept tab props and return to index of tabs. We'll implement all that now. All the setup code has been set created in the app.tsx. To make the tabs come alive now, let's in the app component, 
we're going to use React state to keep track of values and change events. And then we're going to implement the app bar with a tab, the tabs having candidates as well as positions. And then implement the tab panel, nesting in the candidates component and a second tab panel nesting in the positions component. Once we add this code to the app TSX file, I'll show you a working application. We now have a React application up and running with two tabs, one for candidates and one for positions. These React components fetch the data from the server. To finish this CRUD application, let's implement the editable property on the material table. Listening for on row add, passing in new data to a promise with a timeout using the React hook fetch to the API endpoint candidates put method with the headers application JSON UTF-8, stringifying the body, handling the result in JSON, parsing the results and setting the candidates array, catching any errors, resolving the promise, as well as managing state. We're gonna do the same or similar thing for update, whether except for implementing a put, we'll implement a patch and we'll handle the promise response, resolve the promise and manage the old data and manage the state. And then lastly, We'll implement delete where the delete method is called, and this time passing in the ID, the UUID of the candidate, and handling the response, setting the candidates, as well as resolving the promise and setting state. Add, update, and delete have been added. Let's go ahead and test the application. With the editable property added to the material table, you can now see material icon show. So let's add a new candidate. Let's edit a candidate. And let's delete the candidate. Same functionality now exists for positions as well. To complete this video tutorial, we're gonna build up a Docker file into an image to get set up for the next video. Literally the only difference between the client image and the server image is the port that it runs on. The Docker image for recruiting UI has been built and tagged latest. This completes the video tutorial on building a full stack application from scratch, both the backend APIs and the front end user interface.